Now, many of you will be following the tragic events in Israel and Palestine, and we can speak now to someone who's been directly affected. The former Aberdeen, Blackpool and Portsmouth player, Clark Robinson, is the only British footballer in Israel, and he plays for MS Ashdod, a club based near Gaza. I'm delighted to say he joins us now. Look, first of all, Clark, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm just glad to be home, I guess. Um, the last 48 hours, really, from Saturday morning, has been hectic. Um, we got the well. We were staying in the north of Israel on a Friday night for a game on Saturday evening. Um, so we we woke up. Uh, well, I got woken up by one of my teammates at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning to say that the game was off, um, and that the the country had obviously been attacked. Um, so from that moment, um, like we, we all made the decision to get back on the bus and and drive back to Ashdod, which is obviously uh, 20 minutes from Gaza, um, which. Maybe isn't the safest thing to do, but I think I think the club acted very uh, professionally and quickly, um, and they, they told all the foreign players to um, just get their passports, uh, pack the suitcase, and get to the airport as soon as possible. And um, thankfully, they managed to book us all flights home. Um, I ended up spending 26 hours in the in a Tel Aviv airport. Um, I had two cancelled flights, um, and then I finally uh, I managed to get a flight to Budapest um, on Sunday evening. Um, and ended up staying in Budapest for the night and then flying back from there, so yeah, it's been hectic. Clark, tell me what was going through your mind when you first heard the news about it. Yeah, well, it's, it's just, I think when I signed uh, for Ashdod, it's something that you probably never really expect to happen. Like, you, you always, um, there's always that worry that they, they might get a few rockets from uh, Gaza into Israel, which happens uh, pretty yearly, I think. Um, but I, I never thought something like this would, uh, like, break out into a proper war, so... Um, it's just a crazy situation. It's it's very tragic and sad what's happening. Um, and also, I'm still in touch with all the my Israeli teammates that are there, um, still in Ashdod, and a, a few um, live, are living closer to Gaza and a place called Ashkelon. So um, it is very worrying for them. Um, and I just hope, hope all my teammates and everyone's safe. So. What have they been saying to you, Clark? Um, well, we've, we've obviously got a group chat on um, WhatsApp and they, they're, they're sending in uh, lots of videos and um, messages all the time just to keep updated. And um, I think Ashdod actually got hit by uh, a rocket yesterday, which thankfully didn't harm anyone, I don't think. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a crazy situation. Like, I, I don't think any of the Israeli players have ever seen anything like this before. So um, I think there's a possibility that some of the younger players as well might get called up. So, um, yeah, it's, it's very boring times over there, for sure. Clark, what, what made you go there in the first instance? Why, why did you choose that club? Um, I think it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to play abroad. And um, when my agent got in touch over summer and said that uh, a couple of teams in Israel were interested, um, I did a lot of research, to be fair. And um, I've generally enjoyed my time there so far. Um, the three months that I've spent in Israel, it's an amazing country, amazing place, and um, the lifestyle is good. The standard of football is very good, and um, yeah, it's just it's um, it's just yeah, it's, you just never think something like that's going to happen. Um, I don't think they've witnessed something like this for 50 years. So for it to happen when I'm there, it's just yeah, it's just uh, just a bit crazy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. In terms of what you're going to do, uh, do, you, do you think that you'll go back? Where, where are you at? I mean, that might be too soon for you to even say. Yeah, well, I, I, I had someone from the club phone me this morning just to ask how it was, and um, obviously the main, the main concern is uh, that they're safe over there. So um, he was saying to me that it could be a few weeks, it could be months. They, they just don't know at this point. Um, but when it is safe and everything calms down... Um, I'm more than happy to return. Like like I said, like uh, the three months up until Saturday, I had no problems at all. Um, didn't see anything, no no trouble or anything. So um, I, I think everyone's just taken aback by um, how quickly everything escalated uh, from Saturday morning. And in terms of, of like, say, your friends and, and perhaps people like that, there you know, we know that people are being displaced all the time. Is that what they're having to do at the moment? Are they having to move around? What, what's happening? Yes, well, I, I've actually seen um, just on the news before I came on here that um, there's reports from Gaza saying for everyone in Ashkelon, where four of my teammates live, to, to get out of the city by 5 p.m. So um, I, I think I think they are going to head further up north um, in Israel this afternoon and um, ho hopefully get um, some sort of safety up there. But um, as you can imagine, I think I think they're all obviously worried, and um, as, as long as they're safe, that's the main thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, it, it's a totally terrifying time for, for everyone. I mean, in terms of your family and what they felt about you being out there, did they have concerns prior to this? Um, I, I think when they first heard of the interest from Israel in summer, um, I think my mum was uh, the most worried, obviously, as mums are not known how, but... Um, like I said, I did a lot of research into the country and what was happening and it, se it seemed like a safe place. It normally is a safe place. Like I say, for the three months that I've been there so far, I'd seen nothing up until Saturday morning. Um, but then when I obviously phoned my family on Saturday morning, um, you can imagine that they were panicking and just wanted to be home as soon as possible. So, um, like I say, the club acted uh, quickly and professionally and managed to get me a, a flight home now. Do you see a resolution in this, in this at all, just finally? I don't think anyone really knows um, at this moment in time. Um, uh, like they say, the, the guy that I spoke to from uh, Ashdod this morning, um, he, he, said, he said it could be weeks, it could be months until I'm back there. He just doesn't know at this time. And um, I just hope that there's some sort of peace soon and uh, everyone there can return to some sort of normality. Yeah. yeah, I would wholeheartedly agree with you there. Clark, thank you so much for joining us and it's really good to hear that you're safe. Perfect, thank you very much.